Why am I back in Shinshu Field? Well, because we have Ding Champ, I would like to do this before I completely forget. Especially since we could use the praise right now, I decided to head back to Shinshu Field because there is a clover that we can collect, or bloom rather, now that we have Digging Champ, so let me go ahead and do just that. And we get a nice 20 praise from it. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Akami. Last episode, we uh, kind of had a battle royale. We did nothing but battle last episode, uh, all to get one stray bead. So this episode, we are not going to be do doing any sort of battling. We're going to be heading into Seon City. So before I do so, I would like to stop by the shop, pick up a mermaid coin, and warp back to not Ryoshima Coast, but Taka Pass rather. First off, that is the closest mermaid spring to Ryoshima Coast, so I have to warp there. But also, there is a stray bead that we can collect now that we have the ability to dig through hard dig spots. So, I'll meet you over by Taka Pass and buy that stray bead. Be right back. Alright, near the exit of Taka Pass to the city checkpoint and past Bingo is a hard dig spot that once we dig through it will grant us a cave. Jumping into that cave will give us something that is going to be kind of a theme later on. Well, not really a theme, but it's going to be something we're going to be encountering later on on a more regular basis. But this is the first cave of this type that we've ever encountered so far, so let me show you. This, as many people like to call it, is a Nirvana cave. Nirvana meaning heaven. Why is it called a heaven cave? Because first off, all these monkeys can be fed, and they give you a ton of praise to the sum of 48 praise from all of these monkeys. Uh, fun fact, if you, I believe, if you power slash these monkeys, is it power slash? No, it's not power slash. If you do something to these monkeys, you can get a bunch of rocks thrown at you. I just forget what. Let's try this. Maybe. Blow up the monkey. Will that work? Will they throw rocks at me? Yes, they did. Oh, a bunch of rocks. Okay, so there there you go. Just blow them up and they'll throw rocks at you. Uh, but what I want to do is go ahead and blue the, bloom these trees. And then bloom these trees to get a lot of praise from that. And in addition, there are clovers, each of which give me... If I can stop being pushed around by these monkeys, they will give me 10 praise. So that's an additional 30 praise. So, so far we've gotten uh, close to 80 or 90 praise. So, that's really, really nice. And there are also three chests right in the center. After I bloom this clover, we can read that sign over there. The bloom the clover. There we go. Uh, the sign says, Molly's Treasure Trove. Oh, so this is where Molly stole, uh, or stored all of the stuff that he stole. So, we're going to be putting the stuff to good use to atone for his thief thievery. Okay, so there's a godly charm, and then there is next a crystal, which sells for 5,000 yen, which is quite a lot of yen, honestly. And then there is, lastly, the final stray bead of Taka Pass. So we have collected every single stray bead in Taka Pass, meaning we have 100%ed it, I believe. Almost. There are a few things that we have yet to uh, ha gain the ability to uncover, but I uh, all the stray beads have been collected, and I believe all of the, yeah, all of the sun fragments have been as well, so yeah, and the gold dust, so Taka Pass is technically 100%ed. So, with that out of the way, I'll meet you back over at Ryoshima Coast, so that we can finally head into Seon City, the capital of Nippon. Be right back. Magical powers of editing away! Okay, before we head through the gates leading up to the road to Seon City, I would like to point the... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What in... What, what is going on? I'm not touching the control stick at all right now. And look, I'm running. What? What is going on? That is wacky. Now I'm holding the control stick up and I'm stationary? What? Okay, let me cut away real quick because I'm going to resynchronize 
the Wii Remote. Okay, that was very strange. Be right back. Okay, I have no idea what was up with that. And funny thing, that happened before I started the recording as well. Or I had started the recording and I was just messing around because I tend to procrastinate and waffle on how to start my recording. But uh, that was weird. That was really weird. And now I'm running... Okay, stuff's going on that's really weird. I don't know if my it's my nunchuck. That I need to use a different nunchuck, but if that happens again, I'm sw totally swapping out nunchucks and possibly Wii remotes. That's very concerning because the Wii remote I'm using is the one that came with my Wii U, and it's very nice. So anyway, uh, I would like to point out before we head into the gates, like I was saying before I got interrupted, that if you jump down this cliff, there is a clamshell which has a treasure inside, and there's also a clover that, of course, has some praise in it. Because clovers always have praise to give you. Like, seriously, how could they possibly give you anything else? And there you go. Although... Wait. It happened again? Really? Okay. Uh, guys, I'm going to be right back because I'm going to swap out Wii Remotes and Nunchucks. Because it just became desynced again. That... I can't do my rush either, so let me pause, and I'll be right back. That This is just crazy. All right, I'm back. I swapped out controllers and also nunchucks, so hopefully I'll never have that problem again. Okay, so anyway, what I, what I would like to talk about on my way back is the fact that... Oh, I have my voice back. I can sing. I can talk. I can do anything I want to with my voice, except talk as high-pitched as Ryan. Or or Nova for that matter uh but yeah I'd like to kind of talk about that because I believe I'm fully recovered now or at least I'm very very close to it and I would like to talk about something um you probably noticed that Saturday's episode was late it came out on Sunday that's because I came down sick again well it, it wasn't really anything new I came down sick with tonsillitis again it got a lot worse I had I had gone into I had gone up nor uh, into the northern parts of my state uh, to visit family and apparently talking all day has a bad effect on uh, your tonsils who'd have thought and so the next day they were worse than they had been in a while and since they ha had no signs of stopping uh, during the past three weeks I decided you know what I'm gonna finally go to the doctors and this is the great part, and this is this is uh, advice for anyone out there if they have tonsillitis or if they ever do have tonsillitis. Do what I did. Um, I went to the doctor, and they said, "Okay, you have tonsillitis. It, uh, test it, it tests uh, negative for strep, so but we'd like to give you a shot anyway." And so I was like, oh, "Okay, I don't. I haven't had a shot in like eight years, but sure, I'll take a shot." And <laughs> I made a pun. I'll ta I'll give it a shot. And so they gave me a shot for the tonsillitis. Also, that's a graphical glitch right there. And, oh my word. The the following evening, the, which was the night when I recorded um, recorded Saturday... Well, well, it was supposed to be Saturday's episode, so the last episode. Uh, I had had throat trouble going into the episode. You guys probably could have been able to tell because I was a little bit quiet and I was a little bit my voice was a little bit raspy. So... I went into the episode with a little bit of throat trouble, and then, um, by the end of the episode, my throat pain was completely gone. Note, this was the first time in three weeks that I had zero throat pain. That was, that was amazing. That was, it was practically a miracle. Um, and I just want to point it out because if any of you, you guys ever get tonsillitis, get the shot. Um, if it's bacterial, if, it, if it's a viral tonsillitis, you can't get a shot. But um, if it's bacterial, get a shot because it helps within two or three days. Right now, this is two days after I uh, got the shot, I believe, or three. I feel completely fine. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. I feel completely recovered. Um... This is kind of gross, but there were like white spots on my tonsils, and and that that's uh, very that's very in indicative of tonsillitis, the white spots, and they are almost completely gone. So I just want to point that out. Sorry if I gave you a gross detail, but if you guys ever get tonsillitis, get a shot because it fixes it 
within days. It's super noticeable. So anyway, that's just my rant on that, uh, so that you guys won't have to go through the p same pain that I did, because I really hated missing recording. Um, when you have a YouTube channel and you miss recording, you just feel horrible about life. You just feel like, like dirty. You feel dirty not recording. Um, I believe back in Skyward Sword, I, I had described it as the Let's Player syndrome or something like that. So yeah, it. It's very depressing when you're not able to record and talk to you guys. So, with that out of the way, let's finally go into Seon City, which looks like it has uh, an illness problem of their own. We had heard rumors that they had quarantined off the city for a reason, and those rumors appear to be true. So let's go ahead and head into Seon City now that I have a shot to deal with whatever illness is there. Seon City, Commoner's Quarter. Huh? What the? I thought the big city would be a happening place. What's up with this funky looking mist? It looks downright hazardous to your health. I wonder if people can actually live normal lives in this nasty stuff. It does seem very depressing, uh, but there's one telltale factor to see if this is actually a curse zone or if it's just illness, and that is Bloom. It is indeed a curse zone. Well, that's exciting. Uh, this lucky cat right here, if you hit it, it will give you a little bit of money. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the shop owner, because shop owners are usually in the know. Oh, this is terrible. The water dragon is causing so much trouble out in the sea. It's gotten to the point where I can't procure any goods to sell. There used to be a ton of fish, both in Ryoshima and here in the city. But the water dragon's antics have scared them all away. The price of fish, of fresh fish has gone through the roof. What is it, Pooch? Been sent to do the shopping, have you? I don't have much for sale, but feel free to take a look. Uh, just some shopping? Sure. Uh, real quick, I just want to sell off my stuff so that you guys can see that I'm selling off this. Glass beads, two crystals, three crystals, and one pearl. So I have a lot of money. Wow, okay. Uh, and I can buy some stuff. Do I want to buy some stuff, though? Um, I believe... All of these things at the top of the list are for side quests, but all these side quests um, are not, we cannot complete them or even start them at the moment, so I'm going to hold off on this for now. Uh, when it comes time for us to do those side quests, side quests, we'll definitely buy those things. Uh, you look like e a lot like Ida, although you're not Ida, because you are Hayate, or Hayate. This is terrible, or it is Hayate, because A's are A uh, in, Jap in Japan. I need to deliver these letters without delay, but I'm in so much pain that I can barely stand up. The mist thickened again today, too. Oh, why does my body have to let me down? Today of all days. Oh man, this looks bad, Ami. Can we talk to you again? The mist thickened again today. I'm sick and tired of spending my days here like this. I wish I could get moving again and deliver these letters. Man, this is bad, especially because... He's ill, so no matter where he, where he moves, he's still going to be sick. This stuff just kind of keeps people penned in. If they leave, then they're on their own, and if they if they stay, then they're more sick. Then they get sick more. Weapon dealer. Oh man, you you have a very scary face. I would not like to encounter you in a dark alley. Although, maybe if you're my friend, I'd like to have you in a dark alley. That makes more sense. Hello there, mutt. What are you doing out in the mist like this? Now's hardly the time to be wandering around Seon. Not since the mist arrived so suddenly. The cursed zone's appearance haven't, hasn't helped matters either. Queen Himiko's gone and shut herself up in her palace. And everyone else is hiding out inside their homes. Shouldn't, the, sh shouldn't it be the job of our leader to help us through all this? Anyway, business is slow today, to say the least. If you've been sent to do the shopping, then get it over with. Do some shopping? Sure, because the weapons dealer is not just a normal shopkeeper, and why do I want to sell? I've just sold all of my stuff. Uh, he carries weapons! Who would have guessed it? So, he has some gold dust, although I'm not going to be showing the bio for this just yet, because I am not buying gold dust yet. However, if you have no interest in buying this glaive, whose edge is divided in seven parts and it has ink bullet power, then go ahead and buy this gold dust. But personally, I would like to buy seven strike, a tier two glaive, and then I would like to... Uh, do I want to buy gold dust? Hmm, this is going to be the first time I haven't bought two gold dust at once. Should I do this? Ah. 
Yeah, because in the collectibles videos, it still says where the location of the gold dust is, so I don't really have to show the bio twice. I just have to, have to show it once. Okay, so in the weapons dealer shop, there are two gold dust in Seon City, and I have nothing else to buy because now I'm dirt poor. However, I may be dirt poor but I come out of this ahead because I can swap out weapons. Sumigari, you were a great weapon. You're fantastic. The first glaive I ever had. However, it's time for you to be swapped out for 7 Strike. And I actually... No. Uh, Sumigari, we're going to be seeing more of you because I'd like to equip you as a sub because we have had Infinity Judge equipped in some shape or form for a long time. So now we have two glaives equipped. So, Subagari grants Ink Bolt Power, which we've seen in Snarling Beast, uh, our Tier 2 Reflector, but it's probably a bit more powerful. So let's go ahead and upgrade 7 Strike with our Gold Dust. And now we have a Tier 2 Glaive, which looks really sweet. Like, this, this thing's really epic. It's really long, and it's all movie. <laughs> it moves and stuff, and it's glowing orange. It's like... A lightsaber with spikes on it. That's pretty neat. Okay, so now that we have our new weapon, we can talk to these people and kind of fit in, because we're dressing to Seon City's trends. I wonder what Queen Himiko's been doing all this time. She's normally out there for people, even us commoners. And until now, she's been able to protect Seon City from evil. I don't understand why she would sh suddenly shut herself away. Queen Himiko, I beg of you, please come to our rescue. This mist does seem to make you see feel sick and depressed. Ever heard of anything like that before, Ami? This seems very similar to what we encountered in Kusa Village. Although in Kusa, we weren't dealing with sick people. We were dealing with, well, people who didn't couldn't really tell the difference between night and day. Okay, uh, this is obviously Kurson, but I'll go ahead and head in here anyway just to prove that it is. There are some treasure chests down there. However, I would not like to deal with those at the moment. Instead, I would like to go this way and talk to this poor fellow. What are you doing? Are you trying to stand up? You poor soul. Ow, ow, ow. I've been under the weather for a while now. Lately, the pain's so bad that I seize up when I'm out and about. Curses. I don't have time for this. Ow, ow, ow. Stop staring at me, mutt. I knew it, Ami. This is no ordinary mist. I mean, it's all over the city and won't go away. It's downright unnatural. Seems, it seems there are still some people who are unaffected. But who knows what'll happen if this continues a few more days. The merchants seem very well off. I mean, they don't seem sick, but everyone else seems really down in the dumps. Which is sad, because you can tell the city has to, ha has to have some beauty when it's restored. I mean, it has all these trees, has all this beautiful uh, shrubbery and uh, rock art over here. But it succumbed to illness. It's pretty much a, an epidemic right now of who knows what. Grrr. I was traveling the country to perfect my martial arts. But when I arrived here in Seon, I suddenly started to feel ill. I heard rumors before that Queen Himiko's holy power was incredible. Surely this can't be her doing. This mist across the city is suspicious too. But I won't let it get the better of me. Nothing gets the better of me. Well, I don't know. This seems like a very tough obstacle to overcome illness is the worst like of everything i i would prefer to die to illness is just it's right at the bottom i'd rather die of like a sword fight or something than anything i, I haven't been feeling too well lately i'm not the only one there's sick people all across town some of them are so ill that they've taken to their beds i'll be fine because i'm fit but it's the weak folk i worry about to make matters worse the water dragon seems to have gone mad it's causing all sorts of trouble out in the sea. It's only natural that everyone's feeling so uneasy. If only Queen Himiko would show her face. I know she must be busy praying, but the people would be so happy. I wonder what's going on with her. They seem to have very good faith in their queen, which is admirable, considering how she hasn't shown her face during all of this torment. What do you want, doggy? Come to see Miss Rao, have you? You can, you can hear her give her sermons in the lecture hall up ahead. She's taking care of things while Queen Himiko's in the palace. With the curse zones and that mysterious illness, life here in Seon is full of uncertainties at the moment. We're so lucky to have someone like Miss Rao to lead us. She's there for all of us, 
cats and dogs included. Well, that's nice. We must meet this Miss Rao sometime. And that is a curse zone, definitely. So, I would like to go through there. However, uh, let's go ahead and go over there. Because I saw someone over there. You can see that there's someone all the way over there. And this doesn't seem to be a normal curse zone. It's not like something where uh, when any, uh, any villager who's in it is turned to stone. So, we can talk to him. Arg, I'm so nervous all the time. See that curse zone behind me there? It's sending out all kinds of evil. It's tough w It's tough work being guarded at a time like this. I'd give anything to quit my job and get out of here. But the water dragon has been causing havoc in the sea. They s even say that lots of boats have been sunk. So I've got the water dragon up front and the curse zone behind. I just don't know where to turn. Man, it seems like this illness and combined with the water dragon is just bringing this the city to their knees also wait what what guys it's it's the face oh and their their face is everywhere what in the world why their face is on every wall are they on the other side no but there are faces on every wall and what's more they're not just any face they're our face well not my face that would be horrible but they're the face we had when we were exploring uh, the moon cave and uh, and in the early parts of the fight with Orochi. How did that spread all the way here? What What is this place? Fairy port, so... Okay, that's strange graffiti. Also, it's turning nighttime, and I don't want this area... To, actually, you know what? I was going to say I don't want this area to be any more depressing, but I kind of want to see how depressing this area can, be, can get. I kind of want to... to Walk in the city dweller's shoes, I guess. Mr. Flower. Oh, here comes that naming scheme again. Oh, this oppressive weight. I cannot bear it. What's wrong, Gramps? What's wrong? You sick or something? Huh? Oh, no. I'm not sick. You're not? What's all that about a weight you can't bear? It is my soul that ails me. A tremendous weight has pressed down upon it. Blossom Protector, Mr. Flower, <clears throat> who looks a lot like Hitler. <clears throat> oh, what has become of our city? This accursed mist has covered the entire area of late. It slowly but surely torments us, even as if we are being strangled. At first, we thought that a thick fog had rolled in, but then people started falling ill. Worst of all, the cherry blossoms I worked so hard to take care of have withered and lost all of their blossoms. That's sad. I'm sorry. Oh, those cherry blossoms I so lovingly tended to. It breaks my heart to see them wi all withered like that. If only this accursed mist would lift. I could perform the Gura Shuffle and bring the bro blossoms to life. The Gura Shuffle? That sounds kind of familiar. I learned it from a certain flower dance master. The withered trees will fully bloom when I dance the Gura Shuffle. There, there really is such a thing as a flower dance master? However, the Gura Shuffle will have no effect while this evil mist remains. Hmph. When will this accursed mist lift? Well, okay. Dance master. I've never heard of that one before. But if what he's saying is true, then he could help restore Seon to its former glory once we take, up, take care of this mist, uh, however. So, there are treasure chests down there. However, I don't want to go there just, just yet. I instead want to hop over here and miss. Okay, so instead I want to go around here. There's someone down here. What? Why is there someone down here? Oh, what's going on? I don't know what came over me. I had this incredible sudden pain. And now I'm stuck here like this and I cannot move an inch. I'm so useless. Useless, useless, useless. If I don't get to work on the canal with the boss, we won't be able to get the water flowing again. Oh, what am I going to do? Poor man. And he st still has his whole life ahead of him since he's still an aspiring carpenter. <sighs> I think I'm feeling worse and worse every day. And people say the water dragon is causing all sorts of problems. Maybe the, sh the Ryushima coast will never be at peace again. I can't bear all this worry and pain anymore. Oh, when will it all be over? Poor city. I really want to help, but... We haven't really seen a way that we can help. 
Let's go through here to exit the commoner's quarter and see what's beyond. And here it is, nighttime. And it it is more depressing. Well, let's go ahead and exit the commoner's quarter. The city's bigwigs live across the bridge ahead. That area is crammed full of awesome palaces. One of them belongs to Queen Himiko, ruler of Nippon. You can't tell because it's really huge. I have no idea what she's like, but I'm not sure I'll like her. I mean, she doesn't seem to be doing anything about this mist. Plus, I make it a point never to trust kings and queens and the like anyway. Seon City, aristocratic quarter. Or at least the entrance to it. This is very interesting. Oh man, I, I love my new sword. It's so cool. There seems to be someone down here though. Hmm. Benkai. Where did all the water go? Grumble, grumble. Oh. Hello, Pooch. Thinking about crossing Gojo Bridge? Well, think again. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command, I can make it passable, and another, impassable. But there's a reason why I cannot operate it right now. Stop pestering me! I cannot make the bridge passable right now. At least, not until the lake's water is restored and I get that elusive item. Elusive item. He says nothing else, okay. So, once the water is back, then we can look for an elusive item? Uh, one thing that I should point out is, though you may think it, and it'd be a good place for the designers to put such a thing, there are no buried chests in here. I could be wrong, but I have searched this area in the past, and there are no buried chests anywhere around here. So, yeah. Again, if I was wrong, uh, post in the comments, and then maybe I'll show it if it's cool enough. So anyway, let's go ahead and leave because you remember that aspiring comp carpenter had mentioned something about working on the canal with his boss. So that seems to be a clue to uh, restoring the lake water. Alright, let's go ahead and jump down the canal, but instead of heading over to where the carpenter's boss is, or rather where the aspiring carpenter is and then working from there, I would like to start at the very bottom, which is actually over here. Uh, no, I'll, 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 go, I'll start over here, since I'm closer to this. I would like to run through the canal, and find all of the chests that are scattered around here. Because there are a lot of them. Uh, there's one. We can go ahead and count these, just for curiosity's sake. There's one, and it's a lacquerware set. Then there's another one right next to it, and you can just keep seeing these. There, it's just a train of them. Also, there is a chest up there, which I should probably grab right now or not okay jump over here jump and this is a exorcism slip l now in case you're wondering why i haven't gotten any stray beads yet i feel like i should hold off until sound city is restored simply because we do not have access to all of it just yet so i'm not going to be grabbing stray beads quite at this moment uh, there's another chest. This is five, I believe. Yeah, five. And then, uh, that way is the aspiring guy. I want to go over here, because there's a chest at the end of this area, and it contains, a uh, treasure. So we're going to be able to work our money back up, because we spent most- we spent almost all of the money that we had collected in the, uh, Devilgate Trial Cave, uh, on one item. On seven strike. 100,000 yen went right down the drain. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be a while before we can buy <laughs> really anything again. Next thing I want to buy is the gold dust, although I may not be able to do that, because, also this is like eight now, eight treasure chests, um, because there are some of those quest items that the shopkeep has, so we may have to buy those. Okay, there's even more, that's nine, and this is ten. I could have counted wrong, and also, this is a stray bead. At the very end of this canal, there is a stray bead. Like I said, I didn't really want to collect things. However, uh, that was on our way. I didn't want to just say, okay, we got nine chests, and we're not going to get that one yet just because I have personal preference, and 11. Okay, exorcism slip S, and the, it seems like the aspiring carpenter uh, fell by the wayside on his way to where he should be working. 
and where he should be working is here. Keep out. Digging for water source. They dig in a canal here? Looks interesting, don't you think, Ami? It certainly does. Also, I jumped during like a, a cutscene part, which was cool. I kind of glitched it. Okay, this guy. Curse that confounded water dragon, causing such a commotion. How can even the god of the sea be ruining the place like this? Or the peace like this? I bet the dragon is to blame for the state of this canal, too. All that fuss has caused the lake to plug itself up. Master Carpenter, Naguri. Hey, Ami, looks like there's trouble over here, too. Seems the whole city is a complete mess. Hmm? Oh, did you come here for a drink of water, Wolf? Drink water sounds nice. I'm afraid it's completely dried up. This canal is a really important water a source of water for us. That's why I'm digging a hole here to see if I can tap into it again. So many people are sick right now, there's hardly anyone to help out. In fact, I'm the only one left. One lowly carpenter. But I'm, t I'm determined not, not to give up. You get quite fit doing my job. Now I can reap the benefits. I, I built almost everything you see here in Seon, you know. So there's nothing I don't know about this place. Want to know where the key to this water source lies? It lies in Lake Biwa's drain plug. You certainly seem to listen well for a pooch. Maybe I should tell you about Lake Biwa's plug then. Seon City is floating in the middle of Lake Biwa. Literally floating? Because that seems kind of impossible. The water from it is what fills the canal around the city. But the water dragon's antics have made the plug seal up. No wonder the canal is dried up. And that is why we're in this sorry state right now. I'm sure that the plug is located beneath this area. If I can dig my way to it, the water should come gushing out. It's pretty exciting, don't you think? Not really. I'm kind of dreading the fact that he said dig. I usually know, I know what dig implies in this game. It usually means pain. If you think so, then maybe you could help me out. Help Naguri dig? Uh, personally, no. But, uh, I guess I have to sacrifice something to help the people of the city. So, sure. We're going to do this, and then we can wrap up this episode, since I believe we're going a bit long. It's a shame wolves can only answer with their eyes. Still, it doesn't matter what you are if you're willing to help. Now, listen carefully while I explain what you have to do. Like I told you, Lake Biwa's plug is right below us here. I'll concentrate all my efforts on finding it. All you need to do is, is use those claws and get digging. I'll use the plug- I'll use the hole you dig to get to the plug. And when I reach it, I'll give it a good whack and open it up. If no water comes out, you might need to give me a hand. So, do you understand what, I, what you have to do? Do you understand? Of course. That looks like a yes to me. It's time for a wolf and human to pool their energy together. Let's get going. One thing I really about like about the characters of this game, I'm kind of ignoring what's going to be happening on screen since we've done it three times before. Um, I really like the interactions of the the people of this game with the Matarasu. Uh, I, I love wolves. Oh, I, dead end. That's a dead end. That Are you kidding me? That is a dead end. Get up. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, get up here. No, get a Matarasu. Get up. Okay, you, sir, go up. And then you, a Matarasu, get up. So anyway, uh, I really love a Matarasu's reactions with, um, with everyone and their reactions with a Matarasu. Just because I love wolves, which I was just saying. And... Oh, go this way. And just, I really, I just really like how they treat Matarasu like a person, and yet they also treat her like a wolf. It just, it, I, I don't know. It, it's just some of the charm of this game, I think. Just the fact that you're not playing as a human. You're playing as a dog. And these people have no idea who you are, and they don't, on, most of them don't honestly care. They just think you're some random dog. They want to go up, go about their business, and they don't really care what you think. But you care what they think, and it just, it's, it makes it's like 100% of the charm of this game. I love the fact that it just has that feel to it. It's really hard to describe, but in terms of charm, I think this game beats out any game I've ever played in my life. Um, 
fly over there, please. Thank you. It just, it's, like I said, it's really hard to me, for me to formulate into words, but this game just has a, a certain charisma about it, and charisma can pretty much never be explained, so I'm, I kind of understand my lack of words to describe my feelings for this game, um, and they're justifiable for once. So anyway, we've reached the bottom of this. Thank goodness, it, this one wasn't nearly as hard as any of the others. So let's go ahead and circle him, have him run. It doesn't matter that we're out of ink and that we're a normal wolf because we can just dig here without having need for ink. There we go. There we are. The canal is restored. Look, wolf. Look at this wonderful water from Lake Biwa. Seon has its fair share of hardships has had its fair share of hardships lately. The water dragon on the rampage, that strange mist all over. But it matters not what trials present themselves to us. If we solve them one by one, we will emerge unscathed. I suppose my work here is done for now. Thanks, Wolf. You did a good job. And we got praise. I like this guy. He's a good man. He's kind to wolves. And not everyone is kind to wolves. Huh, <laughs> Susano isn't really kind to us. And where are we? We're in... Oh, we're here. Okay, well, let's talk to this girl and then go through the the, uh, the building, and then I'll end it off. Grr, I feel like my whole body's being choked by something. I've been feeling rough ever since that curse zone appeared. Many of us are even worse off than me. Some have become succumbed to illness. Oh, our poor city. What's happening to us? Well, like he said, if we overcome the trials one by one, we will be... We, we will emerge victorious and this is a dead end so I thought it was like a pass-through thing but it isn't so that is going to be it for this episode uh, if you like this episode comment if you didn't like this episode then tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it and next time in Okami we're going to be hopefully uh, heading into the aristocratic quarter because now that the water's been restored Maybe Henkai will enable us to pass over the bridge, hopefully. Uh, he still needs an item, but we should be able to supply that for him. Like I, like that guy said, like Naguri said, trials one by one will merge victorious. So on that note, even though the city's still in need of dire t uh, d TLC, that's going to be it for this episode. I release new episodes of Kami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. I'll see you guys next time.